Hello, my name is M.K. Davis. What I have to show you here is, uh, is rather graphic in nature. Uh, it's some of the work that I've done on the famous uh, Kennedy assassination film, the Zabruder film, or the Abraham Zabruder film, uh, of that assassination. Uh, this occurred in Dealey Plaza in Dallas, Texas, uh, I believe November the 22nd, uh, 1963. Uh, it's certainly something that uh, changed the course of history. Uh, if you have a squeamish uh, stomach uh, when it comes to uh, graphic images, uh, I encourage you right now to turn this video off because what's on it and what you're about to see, if you choose to let it run, is uh, some of the very best uh, of the of the Zabruder film. Uh, it's it's hand stabilized. Uh, it's been cleaned up, and it shows the, the wound uh, on the president very graphically. Uh, you know, also, if you have small children, you might not want them to watch either. But if you're interested in history and the way things happened and the way things were that day, uh, as recorded by Mr. Abraham Zapruder on his uh, camera, then you want to let the, let the video continue to run. Um, uh, I think there are some very novel ways of stabilization on here that are very revealing. Uh, I, I'm not going to uh, bother you too much with analyzation. Just uh, let it run and let you look at it. Um, I, might, uh, I might just explain it, what you're looking at, and then you can make up your own mind about the whodunits. Uh, lots of opinions there. And I don't know who all was mad at the president enough to do this, but... Uh, I know the logistics of what took place that day. I know physically what took place that day very well. Uh, and so uh, this is my, my work, some of my work, on the Abraham Zabruder film. Uh, let's take a look. Here's the headshot run at full speed. He's already wounded here, now watch. Here it is again. It's run, it's, this is a slow motion and enlarged. All right, here's a frame by frame. Okay, the next clip is going to show bone fragments um, flying off the president's head. And just watch it there. It's been uh, the enhanced so that you can see those fragments fly. There you go. You see they're tumbling, uh, and then they continue to fly up at, at really high rate of speed. Uh, These bone fragments continue flying through the air at, at a forward motion with the motion of the vehicle and go across and a man dodges them on the other side of the street. Uh, here are use filtration. You can see them. That's, it shows multiple, like two or three, but it's, it's probably the same one tumbling during the exposure because it's at such a high rate of speed.
you see you'll see a man in here in a little bit and i'll show you later uh, in this series right here you'll see this man dodge that piece of bone this right here is a rather novel way of stabilization that shows the background and the people moving in the background I was really interested in the reactions of the people uh, in the background to the shooting. I'll show you that again. Watch this man uh, dodge this piece of bone as it flies across the road over there. Uh, and all the rest of the people are, are hardly uh, react at all to the shooting. But this one man uh, sees that piece of bone coming, and he dodges it, and uh, he knows something's going on. And then toward the end, you see what they call the blob man. Uh, run from right to left, and they certainly know something uh, terrible has happened. In this next clip, you're going to see uh, an oscillating file that, that shows the president and Governor Connolly, who's sitting directly in front of him, react at the exact same moment to a, a single event. Uh, so you know you can make of it you know what you what you want there, but uh, it looks to me like they're reacting to the very same event. And that, and that would be the first, the first uh, wound, wounding of the president the very first time uh, and before the headshot. You know, there's a lot of things that I admire about President Kennedy's intellect. Um, and I think about it often when I'm doing my research and whatever I happen to be researching at the time. Uh, this is one of my favorite quotes from him, and he, he made this statement while he was addressing Yale University. Uh, he said, Too often we hold fast to the clichés of our forebears. We subject all facts to a prefabricated set of interpretations. We enjoy the comfort of opinion without the discomfort of thought. I thank you for your time.